what's up beautiful people out there this is ashish from ashir creations and guys today we are going to create a visual photo editing in photoshop so first of all just click the photo in such a way that you are standing on the terrace and just select the photo with the help of quick selection tool or magic wand right as you can see we have made a perfect selection and make a layer by copy to make a, you know just press ctrl j right as you can see we have perfectly you know cut out the background now we're gonna add the background first of all we'll crop the photo for our instagram that is one is to one ratio we want to make a square photo right so we will select the ratio that is one is to one and we're gonna just crop the photo right just you know adjust the perspective and everything very perfectly and now the next thing we're gonna do is adding a background to the photo so what we're gonna do is just go to the file click on open and just browse the background I'll just put the background link in the description so you can just download it for free so this is the background right we're gonna just add this you know the cloud and kind of very perfect moody kind of structure we're gonna add to the photo so just press ctrl T and adjust the perspective in whichever you want you can just place this heavy cloud photo right <clears throat> and we're gonna just remove this you know moon from the photograph so just by pressing the you know cont or using the content hour tool just select that moon and select the content hour from the fill menu and it will just disappear right so this is how you have to remove the subject or anything from the photo you can use this content aware tool now we're gonna just place this as it is now just go to the open and we're gonna just add this moon right this moon png or the moon image from the photo press ctrl 2 and we're gonna just reduce the color of this shan to zero change the blending mode to screen press ctrl t from the keyboard and we can just place this moon somewhere over here right now this one is looking kind of very amazing and cool right press ctrl l perf l from the keyboard and just move the slider from left to right in order to remove the haze from the photo the white haze which was actually looking in the photo we're gonna just remove it so you just place this you know stars in the photo uh star sky in the photograph so just press the you know rotate it 90 degree and just stretch it by pressing the ctrl t change the blending mode to screen <coughs> and we're gonna just remove the rest of the thing again let's press ctrl l from the keyboard and just play with around whatever it is more suitable for your photo you can just keep that star or just keep as it is now select the eraser tool right <coughs> we're gonna select the eraser tool and remove the remove the stars remove from that area where we don't want that star image suppose let's see on the cloud i don't want uh, stars right so i'm gonna add a layer mask on this image select the brush tool and make sure you have selected the black color on the foreground and just paint in the area where you want to delete that stars right you can also use the eraser tool but i am using currently the layer mask option so that i can undo in future if i want to you know regain that star so it is very helpful now we can reduce the opacity of the layer to around 50 percent now this one is looking kind of very amazing right now let's just merge all the layers before merging we're gonna do one more process select the solid color from the adjustment layer change the blending mode to multiply <coughs> now add a layer uh, click on this layer I'll layer mask right select the brush tool and make sure you've selected the black color on the foreground now just add a clipping mask just right click on it and create a clipping mask right now we're gonna just reduce the opacity of this black layer because i want to create a moody darkest photo but my actual the photo was actually you know kind of very much daylight effect so i'm gonna turn it to kind of night portrait black is effects so i am adding this black layer of this you know multiply option in the photograph right so this would be pretty perfect helpful in my photo to create a night look right now as you can see we have perfectly done our process now just merge all layers and finally we're gonna edit or do the process that is of you know 
doing color grading so let's go to the filter select the camera filter and here we're gonna start the process of color grading. now just move the slider or the temperature to around minus 15 add a contrast to the photograph <coughs> now we're gonna ready increase a bit of highlights reduce the shadows from the photo decrease some whiteness from the photo if it is very much over white is now just move the slider from middle to the plus 12 to the pinkish color select the clarity to increase a bit to around plus 10 now go to the calibration and move, move the blue primary color from middle to left side to around you know minus 30 would be pretty perfect i guess right now go to the fx and add a vignette to the photo by just making it minus 15 and just move it to the midpoint and this is totally up to you guys you can just totally do it whatever kind of you know vignette you want you can totally add it according to your photo and your convenience now we're gonna add highlights so make sure to add highlights to around 56 would be pretty perfect and saturation to around 13 to 15 now select the shadows and make sure to select the shadow that should be of blue color and it should be matching with the sky color so i'm gonna adding the shadows to around 230 around right 227 would be pretty perfect i guess and saturation to 12 now add a little bit of sharpening to the photograph and we're gonna add a matte to the effect matte kind of look to the effect so just move the curve from middle to the upside portion and click one point over here and one point over here so it will just make an photo an amazing look right now as you can see this one is looking literally so perfect so we have we're gonna add a little bit of vibrance to the photo the plus 10 and plus 3 to minus you know minus 4 would be pretty perfect the saturation so finally guys we have created a visual editing like uh, you know moon and it is literally looking so guys perfect I hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make cool videos like this for free and also visit my website and also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just type ashwirkrishi so guys thank you for watching bye bye till the next video